Hi guys, it's John again with Tour Radar, this time on a tour with Bus About, exploring the best islands Greece has to offer. I'm super excited to share with you guys the sheer beauty of these Greek islands and what you can get up to on each of them. We woke up pretty early this morning um, and we got the ferry from Athens to here in Mykonos. We've just arrived in our accommodation and we're right on Paradise Beach. It is the perfect location. Um, we're just about to head into town, um, grab some dinner from one of the famous restaurants there. Apparently it does amazing seafood and Slovakia, so we might get some of that. Um, and then we're gonna take a, take a walk around town and head up to the windmills, um, which are the famous four windmills that overlook uh, the whole of the Mykonos Bay and out to sea. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be an amazing spot. Really good, um, really good for Instagram photos. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Mykonos is definitely one of the most unique places in the world. Because of its history and excellent weather climate, it has managed to form itself into one of the hot spots in Europe. There are over 800 churches and 100 bars on the island, but only 31 taxis. The famous church, Paraportiani, was originally four churches that were constructed over a period of time dating back to 1475. The island's most famous celebrity is also its mascot, Petrus the Pelican. The original construction of the windmills of Mykonos was started by the Venetians in the 16th century. Greece is renowned for its party scene, and while we didn't go too hard straight away, it was great to socialise with the group and get to know each other over a couple of drinks on the first night in Athens. The first full day was spent travelling to Mykonos, where we headed straight to Paradise Beach. Paradise Beach has everything you need, from the perfect crystal clear blue waters that have come to be expected of Greece, to the best gyro stands and bars that serve every drink imaginable. And what was even better is that our accommodation was right on it. After we spent the afternoon at the beach, we headed into town to a restaurant renowned for its seafood and it didn't disappoint. The head chef had been working there for over 20 years. After a tour of the town, we toured some of the best bars in Mykonos, where we ended up turning one of them into our own private party, with shots galore and DJing ourselves for the night. Epic. So after an amazing night in Mykonos last night, we've come here to Paros this morning. It's only about a 45 minute ferry ride across. Um, much more chilled out, uh, much more chilled out island, but there's plenty to see and do here. So this morning we've been wandering around the town of Paros um, and we got an amazing burger for some much needed replenishment. Um, and this afternoon um, we've been chilling around the pool just down here um, from a hotel. And this evening we're gonna head to um, a traditional four course Greek meal with some plate smashing thrown in. So yeah, it's gonna be super fun. After visiting a beautiful church, we got together for an old Greek custom, plate smashing. This originated from where rich families had poorer families over during celebrations and invited them to smash plates to advocate friendship over wealth. I think everyone enjoyed this custom as we smashed over a hundred plates in total. When we arrived in Paros, we were all craving some more sea action. This was perfect as we had an absolutely epic day ahead of us. We took sail and embarked on a full day boating trip around the island to our own private beach where we had, and you guessed it, a few more drinks and stopped for a barbecue lunch on our own private beach. We were in heaven. Our next stop on the journey is one to remember, the stunning island of Santorini. Due to the influence of the Venetians, a vast majority of the architecture in Santorini is Cycladic and Venetian styled. The beautiful streets are made of cobblestones and the buildings are predominantly whitewashed. One thing you shouldn't miss out on is trying the local Greek wine. It's just amazing. On one side of the island, at Kriteri, you can hike the stunning Red Beach. There are very few places that can match the amazing sunset of Santorini, and every day people flock to the best spot on the island to watch a spectacle. The golden sun will remain in your memory forever. So after an absolutely epic few days in Santorini, it's going to be one of my most favorite places I've ever been. Uh, we've just arrived here um, in Eos. We got the ferry over from Santorini to Eos this morning and we're staying right on the beach. We're staying at a place called Farah Beach Club. Um, here's our room behind me. Really, really nice room. But everyone knows, everyone knows, I kept saying I'm all about the view. Let's so we've got our own private balcony. 
the room here. So you've got one room here, this room, and another four up there, and they're all us, they're all from Bus About. And we're all enjoying this amazing view together. And this amazing weather too. But yeah, a few people are down on the beach there, a few people chilling in their rooms. Uh, some people have signed up. Some people have signed up for um, all the tours and stuff to do tomorrow. Um, we're gonna do a boat, we're gonna do a boat tour tomorrow, I think. Um, around uh, Eos in the bay and gonna see a few uh, shipwrecks and stuff, but that should be really cool. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going out tonight, uh, we're going out to the Fire Beach Club, which is, well, it's the, uh, it's the uh, bar that's bar that's part of the hotel. Um, we're going out there tonight, so we've got the whole day to chill, um, and we're meeting up with the tour leader at 7, uh, 7.30, for, oh, yes, wood fire pizza, or well, you can eat wood fire pizza, uh, and some beer, so it's gonna be amazing, yeah, amazing evening, can't wait. Eos. If you've heard anything about Eos before, it's probably true. One of Greece's most popular islands, it has everything that you want all in one place. From the pristine Fire Up Beach and Resort, to water sports, bars, clubs with famous DJs, amazing restaurants, beautiful white streets and cool Greek shops. Everyone was in such good spirits as we were exploring different parts of the island together, getting on as if we'd known each other for years. The town group and the beach group congregated again at the end of the day over some more awesome food as we shared stories of what each of us got up to during the day. And then you guessed it, more drinks at Eos's best club right on the beach. We had a pretty chill day in the Eos yesterday. Uh, we chilled by the beach, uh, by the pool, and went into town and you know, had a look around, looked at all the shops and walked in all the winding alleyways and just got a bit lost. It was awesome, but we're back now. Uh, we found our way back eventually. <laughs> But yes, we booked uh, a boat tour yesterday for today, so we had a speedboat excursion uh, around the edge of the uh, island around here. Um, see it just behind me. So this is the sea, we headed around the coast that way. Um, and yeah, we went snorkeling through caves down um, at a shipwreck, uh, which is super cool. Um, and we chilled on our own private beach and had some lunch. It was amazing. Uh, perfect day, it was like a three hour tour. Um, it, is an it was an optional extra, but we all decided to do it anyway. Um, and bust about get a discount from the water sports place just down the front. Um, yeah, so we're just about to have um, the last meal here in EOS before we head off tomorrow. I've got my crazy shirt on. Uh, I feel like I'm ready. The weather is epic, it's gonna be an amazing sunset right on the beach. Oh, we're gonna miss this place. We head we're heading back to Athens tomorrow for our last day. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy our last evening here. Greece, oh, wow, I had such high expectations, but even then they were exceeded. Each island offered something totally unique in the last, and it was amazing to get the chance to experience all of them. We got the ferry back from Eos to the mainland, then we remembered Athens was still waiting to be explored. Athens is considered the cradle of Western civilization, being the birthplace of democracy, Western philosophy and literature, and it's easy to see why. It was crazy to see all the famous monuments in Athens in real life, most in incredible condition for being 2,500 years old. But it's not just about the past. The city is a bustling cultural hotspot with a good nightlife and exciting contemporary art scene. If this video has enticed you to visit Greece, click on the tour link I've put in the description or just head over to the Tour Radar website for all your travel needs. For even more inspiration, stay around to watch another video and make sure you subscribe to our channel to follow more of my or my fellow travellers' escapades around the world.